When you wake up, this is what you gotta do. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. Every day I'm here to motivate, lead the way in the AM. I don't want you to hear these words, I need you to feel what I'm saying. Oh, no. you gotta crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you. In the building, Jimmy Wilson, motivation's coming, I can feel it. First thing that you need to do is crush the day before it crushes you. The whole of your team will always be greater than the sum of its individual members. Now, this sounds kind of crazy, but hear me out, right? The sum of your team, meaning the total value of your team, will always be greater than breaking them down into the individual people and using their scores individually. And this is important for you to understand because as a leader, your responsibility is attracting high value players so that you can increase the overall score of your team. Because not everyone is going to operate the way that you operate. If you've ever hired anyone in your life or you've ever even tried to work with anyone, you know not everyone's going to work the same way that you work. They're not going to put in the effort that you put in. And you learn to navigate that, right? If you've ever worked in any company, you know you have to learn people's strengths and weaknesses because if you can find their strengths and their weaknesses, you can use someone else's strengths to fill that void and vice versa. That's how you create a stronger ecosystem, which is why as a community unit, you're always far more successful than as the individual, right? Yes, one person can do a lot, but at the end of the day, there's only 24 hours and everybody gets that same 24 hours. So one person can only do so many things in a day. And even a super highly effective and efficient person can do a lot more than the majority, but there's still a limit. So when you learn to create a team and attract high value individuals that ups your overall average, right? Let's say you are the, the best of the best in your company and you hire three people who can do 40% of what you can do. Well, realistically, you're still, those three people are growing your company more than you are as an individual, because if you're at 100%, those three at 40% do a combined 120%. And so now they're actually capable of producing more than you are as the individual, let alone they're only 40% each, but that's the way this works. When you learn to scale and put people in the right place, you're going to start upping your average. And so some of those 40s may be 60s or 80s, and everyone's going to continue getting better. So the, the main point of this story today, and the main thing I want you to take away from this lesson is that your team will always be greater and capable of more than you as the individual. So learn how to grow your team. Learn how to create that cohesive unit because the sum of your team will always be greater than the individual parts of themselves. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crush of the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.